Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series. I'm giving this another shot. When I tried earlier, I was getting some weird freeze-ups when I was playing. And I think I may have fixed it. If not, then we'll have to try again another time. Anyways, the game is Environmental Station Alpha. I got this from Gear over Christmas and I couldn't stop playing it because it was a ton of fun. Don't be fooled by that hour and 30 minutes. This game is not short, by the way. That's because I'm doing a new game plus. Every time you do a new game plus, your timer resets, and that's just what rem that was how much time it took when I beat the game, I guess. Anyways, this game is actually packed to the brim with content, and trust me, for its small file size, and you look at it like, this game is probably really small. No, it's not. And it's, I'll talk about more of that later, let's just get started. It's like a bazillion genres in one, it's like a Metroidvania RPG detective archaeologist thing going on. And let's get started. On easy mode, you have more health. You get more health from health upgrades and enemies do less damage. On normal, you have normal health and get normal stuff, normal damage and all that. So let's do normal. Don't want to wuss out now, do we? Hopefully the volume levels are fine. Let me know if they're too quiet or too loud. So here it begins. We could not use the main entrance because the generators are offline. Be careful though because there are probably some backup engines running. When you enter the station, we will no longer be able to contact you. First thing now is to turn the generators back online. Press left and right to walk, Z to jump, and C to shoot. Those are my controls. You can press you can pause by pressing shift. This also shows the map and status screens. So yeah, left, well right, left, jump, shoot with our little pea shooter. Yeah, little freezes don't seem to be happening. The game would freeze up for just a second or two and then I could move along. But it doesn't look like it's happening this time, so we can actually play the freaking game. We'll start by shooting through all this dust and crap, whatever this is. Now you can tell this place has seen better days already. What's this? These graphics look like they're straight out of Metroid. That can't be a coincidence, now can it? Now let's just head right and let's get this power going. Screw you. Power generator offline. Main battery, 0 out of 300. Searching for backup. Backup found. Battery 121. 152 out of 300. Do you want to turn the power back online? Sure. Turning the power on. Alert! Alert! Unauthorized access detected and activating defense system. We get straight into a boss fight! Class C Guardian. He's really piss easy. Because, you know, I've played this a bunch and this is to get you introduced to the mechanics. Now listen out for that sound where he goes... That means he's gonna fall and that's your cue to move. I'll let you listen for a second. Yeah, when you hear that sound, he drops and I got hit like an idiot. And it's, he's really easy. He's just an intro boss to get you, you know, familiar with things. Alert! Alert! Ceiling AI mainframe and surrounding area. Oh no! You know, I could have actually jumped there to the left and went back to our ship. But it's pointless unless you go a little further in the game. You are too deep into the station. This is our last message. Try to find out what has happened there and return to us. Farewell. These are save points. I'll let this explain it. Press up in front of these red booths to save your progress. These will also restore your health and stuff to max. Hey, look, it's a little green side hopper, dude. What's up, buddy? Hey, was very nice. In my test play, I got past him without getting hit once. Oh, whatever. This game isn't too hard. It's a pretty fair, difficult challenge. This game is hard, though. So don't be fooled by its pixel graphics and fun exploration and stuff. This game is fucking difficult. I went the wrong way. Because I was explaining things and lost focus. We want to head to the right, not left. So yeah, anyways, don't get me wrong. This game is very difficult and will test you. At least first time players. Afterwards, it's not too bad until you get to further in the game. Boy, I can tell you this game is difficult. It kicked my ass quite a bit. Not too hard, though. It's not Salt and Sanctuary hard, but it certainly is difficult. Now let's use this computer. Security computer online. Access level 2 granted. 
Don't worry, you'll never see any of those again. And that computer says OK on the monitor. Ignoring that blue X or cross in the top left. Yeah, like I said, this game will have you deciphering crap and all this good stuff. With the access level 2, we can go through these gates. See? That's all that computer says. If you tried to access it earlier, it would pretty much deny you, and that's the end of that. Forcing you to explore a little bit. Alright, we don't want to fall down there. There's some nasty dudes down there. As of now, though, all we got is a little pea shooter to deal with everything. It's no fun. It's got some decent range, and it goes through stuff. It's pretty much melee range, almost. It's a little bigger than melee range. I'll say flamethrower range, almost. Alright, come here, buddy. Let's see if we can kill you. There we go. Yeah, just like Metroid, things are spawning. By the way, if we screw up a save, there's no redoing it. So hopefully the recordings I do go smoothly. Yeah, if you're curious to why I'm doing this today and not later, like I said, I felt confident enough. Hello there, buddy. You're dead. You can actually aim down, up, left, and right, and that's it. Those are your directions. You will not be aiming anywhere else. No diagonal, sadly. Anyways, if the volumes, I, like I said at the start, I hope the volume's okay. I did adjust it pretty well and made sure everything was good. If not, just tell me and I'll turn it up. I'd rather it be too quiet than too loud. So if it's too quiet, just let me know. Anyways, don't feel, fall in that green water stuff. It's painful. Hey, look, an item. Ah, we got duped. Instead, we get a boss fight against the Queen Beetle. Immediately start up by going to that platform and jumping over him. Same rules apply to the Class C Guardian. Listen out for that sound. When you hear that, he's gonna drop. Then get close and just unload. Who cares if you get hit? I didn't mean to get hit that much. I was being a little too reckless. Listen up for the sound. She drops. Get close and unload. And that's it. Thankfully, though, don't worry about getting too hurt, because if we head right first, we can get a health tank. Health increased by four. You're going to get Cave Story vibes from this, too. Along with Metroid, because look at that crumble blocks. Totally not Super Metroid. Anyways, we want to head to the left. And if you jump across this bridge and head left, it'll actually lead us to a secret. But... There is nothing we can do about it because the thing in question is up above us and we can't reach it. So let's just head down here and get this item, whatever it is. It's the jump booster. Press G. Press G. Press Z while in midair to perform an additional jump. Not too shabby. I guess having steam up caused me the issue with this game. I can actually run this game outside of steam, which is hilarious. Anyways, let's save our game and continue onwards. Videos will be about 15 minutes. That seems good enough. 20 if I really need to. So yes, now we have double jump. Or the space jump shoes or whatever in like the future games. Also, if you see this S, there's a save point in the next room. Anyways, let's head to the right. Do not fall down because there's an enemy we can't damage. And there's really nothing we can do that way actually, so... It's completely pointless. With our newfound ability, we can make our way back up. And access new areas, of course. Don't fall in the goop. For the love of God, don't fall in the goop. Anyways, I want to head to the left and hit the save point. Because I will we'll store our stuff. Also, if you didn't head right first, you can head left and get that health tank right here. And no, you can't use that to get to the boss. I've tried. So let's just continue onwards. Starting with going back to the left, because there's an item, one item I want a sequence break for. Something very useful, actually. There is another item I can sequence break for, but unless you're doing easy, it is incredibly difficult to. I'm not gonna lie, it took me a lot of shots to get a, a sequence break for a certain item. So let's go get it. Come here, buddy. Boop. Ah, we did it, and got hit in the process. Now that item in question is actually over here to the left. I want to get this now. Fuck waiting for this. Because this will save us a lot of backtracking and headache. Hit 
the save point, I'd recommend it. And let's head up now, because with our double jump, we can do this. You can't do this without double jump. And if you can, I'm not that good at this game. I'm good, but I'm not that good. It is you want to wait because he'll drop. Ah, oh, I fucked that up by hitting the second brick. As you can see, there's a lot of bricks here that we can't really do anything about. You want to do that, jump into them, get a boost of damage, and then do a jump. Kind of like Metroid 2 with the boost, do damage boost. So that's pretty much what we're doing. Ouch, I hate that fish. And here comes an annoying part. This is a bit of RNG. I want to wait till he comes down from the roof. Which I'm screwing up. Come on. Actually, I wanted to... Yeah, this is this is right. This is right. When he comes down, you want to jump into him and do the same thing. So, jump! And there you go. Normally, you have to wait till we get an item that deals with these bricks. But we don't have to, because I'm good at this. Boop! Alright, let's continue onwards, because the item is just over to our right. Do not shoot that switch. Or you'll completely screw this up. Yeah, those guys are like little zoomers. The blue ones can actually crawl along all the walls, while the other colored ones drop when they hit a corner. Alright, there's the item. That's something we're not supposed to get for a very long time. But we're going to get it now. And it's the Dash Booster V. Look up and down and press S to perform a vertical dash. That's what I have it set to. Dashing can destroy red blocks. You can also face through all hazards by dashing. Meaning, if we look up and hit S, it's pretty much another jump. It's pretty much the size of our double jump. So with that, we can leave. And the red blocks, think of this like the speed booster, a mix of the speed booster and the jet pack from a cave story. Because that's what it pretty much is. Speed booster part allowing us to move really quickly. And phasing through dangers while it's active. Damn, that fish sucks. But I am pretty low on, le low on health and stuff, so of course it's going to wreck my day. We want to immediately hit that save point. Try not to lose too much health, because if you die, you'll have to do that again. So, with that item, we can save and continue to the right. Because there's another item we can see. We could sequence break. Well, not really sequence break for. You can get it at any time. It's just you're not supposed to know about this item till end game. Along with that secret I showed off. So if you wait here for about a few seconds. Ooh, look at that, a secret. Now there are actually two items here. One I'm going to avoid getting until the end of the game, which is right here. I won't show off what it is. And the second being actually sort of plot important. This. You found a key. You have now taken one step. What does that do? We'll find out later. Much later. For now, let's just get hit in the face and get hit by that guy. Yeah, those little ghosts, that ghost dude I just killed will appear now that we have the key. Otherwise, let's save our game and call it an episode. What else awaits us here on the station? Find out next time on Let's Play Environmental Station Alpha.